Hi everyone, welcome back. This is lesson two of session two of Machine Learning Zoom Camp, and we will um, now prepare a data set for our price prediction project. So remember, we already looked at the data set, and uh, the data set is uh, on Kaggle, but I have a copy uh, that we can use just to find it. So we can go to uh, GitHub, my profile, then um, so this repo ML Camp code. This is what we need. Then uh, the, the, we have this uh, chapter two car price, and then two files that I showed you. One of them is uh, the data. So we just see the file. And we need to get the URL of this file. So now let's download this URL. Let's download this data. Yeah, I think uh, I already have it. That's why I added one. So, but this is what you do. So you can use this bget, uh, wget for downloading uh, data, or you can just save as uh, in your browser. So you have this data. Now what we need to do is first uh, load it. For that, we in Pandas, we use uh, read CSV function. So you just loads data and we can see it immediately. Right. So all the data we saw on Google is all here. So let's uh, write it to a variable. And then usually what I do after that is I uh, take a look at the first uh, couple of rows, first five rows of the data set and see what we have here. So we see the manufacturer of a car, model year, um, like a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, features, like a lot of different characteristics of a car, and this is what we actually want to predict. This MSRP manufacturer suggested uh, retail price. So what we we can see here is uh, there is some like inconsistency in the way the columns the column names uh, we have columns. So sometimes we have let's say underscores here sometimes we don't then we have uh, spaces here that and remember with space uh, like usually if we want to let's say access this transmission type variable then we need to use this notation we can do it with dot because with dot uh, then it's not uh, like we'll say okay i don't know what is that so what we usually need to do is do a bit of cleaning like first uh, make it consistent let's say make it lowercase everywhere because you see this is lowercase this is uppercase then sometimes there are underscores sometimes there are non no underscores so what we want to do now is uh, make it all consistent so let's uh, lowercase it and let's replace uh, spaces with underscores so for that um, in pandas there is uh, this field called columns like in each data frame, and it contains the names of the columns. And it's an index, and uh, in the introduction to Pandas, we talked about indices. So index is uh, it's like a special uh, data structure in Pandas. It's very similar to series. And like series, it has this str method, uh, str thing for um, doing string manipulations. So what we can do is we can apply the same string uh, function to all the column names here. So let's say if we want to uh, make everything lowercase, we just get, no, we just invoke this lower and you see that everything becomes lowercase. And we can also chain it with uh, multiple string commands. And the other one that we want to use is replace. So we want to replace, uh, replace spaces with underscores. And this is what we get. And now what we can do is uh, we can write it back to this uh, columns field. So if we do this now, so we write it back. And then now if we look at the, uh, at the head of this, at the top uh, first records, we see that everything now is um, more uniform, right? So it's lowercase, uh, it's consistent basically. And so it's, it's cleaner. And actually we have the same problem with uh, the values. So here, sometimes you see it's all caps. Uh, sometimes it's not all caps. 
and uh, yeah so it's uh, it's also not nice so let's make it uh, let's standardize it normalize it as well so for that we first need to find out what are all the string uh, columns right so we cannot uh, really apply string methods to this uh, uh, this column, for example, because this uh, these numbers. So this str thing works only for strings. So first of all, we need to find out uh, to find all the string um, columns, and for that we use this field called dtypes, which returns for all the for all the columns. It tells us what is the the type of this column, and we are interested in objects. Um, so you see here, so this, this is integer. So this is not interesting for us. These are floats. These are also float. So these are integers. These are not interesting. The interesting one for us are objects. So objects um, here are strings. Can be other objects, but usually when we just read um, something from CSV file, it's nothing else, but uh, it cannot be anything else but a string. So we are now interested in getting all the all the columns that are of type object. So we can do that. Uh, remember the syntax it basically tells us what is object and what is not. So we know that make is uh, make model. Uh, so we know which are objects. So we can uh, do that to select only those that are objects. So if something is true, we will keep it. If something is false, we will not keep it. And we get um, now this series. And if you remember from uh, the introduction lecture about uh, Python, so this is series and these are the values. These are values. And this is the index of the series. So here we're actually not interested in values because values are all objects. What we're interested in, in we want to get these names. So for that, we need to use to get access to index, and this is how we do it. So when we do this, we get access to the index of that series, and these are all the names of the columns that we need. And we can just convert it to Python list, no, just because no particular reason, just because it looks nicer. And let's call it strings. So this is a, a Python list that contains all the string names. And now, since we have all these names, what we can do is we can uh, loop over them. So let's say for call in strings. So call is column, uh, df call. So basically what we want to do is we want to uh, do the same thing we did it here with columns. Let's say for make. What we want to do is do the same thing. And then write it back to make. And we don't do this just for make. We do it for everything. So, and this is how we can do this. Um, so for column, one of those. Lowercase, replace uh, spaces with underscores and write it back to the data frame. Now we can see that it's uh, cleaner. Now everything is lowercase. Um, spices, spaces are re replaced with underscores. So the data now looks a bit cleaner. And yeah, let's also take a look at what we actually have. Um, I think. Yeah, this is something we will actually do in the next uh, in the next lesson. So in the next lesson, we will take a look at the data and try to understand what is there. So, see you soon.